Okay, let's see which cameras go on. There we go. Uh, <clears throat> Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is May 3rd of 2018. And I just ordered a 4K 27-inch LG monitor. It's going to be here sometime next week. This is Thursday, so... Uh, I'd probably be here maybe Wednesday or Thursday of next week. <clears throat> I've never actually seen a 4K video. I don't have a 4K TV, and I don't have a 4K monitor, and I've never been to Best Buy or something. Um, well, I've been, but I mean, years ago, and I've never seen 4K, so I'm going to be seeing 4K before long. Okay, back to a little game playing here, and I'll... Let's see here. I'm not sure how loud the audio is from... So... Let's see here. Oh, I need more spins, don't I? Let's, uh, let's do 25. Come on, castle. No. Okay, here we go. Come on. Fill up one of the... There we go. Good. Okay. Three more spins now. Come on, land next to one of these others here. Okay. One more spin. Come on. Come on. No. Ah, uh, only 27 million. I only won 27 million. Let's change games here. Okay, stop. Oops, okay, wait a minute. Glorious. Oh, I think it's on Netflix. Glorious Donuts. 30 minute series. I've been watching it. Pretty good. If you could hear me or not over the I need to check out the anyway when my new 4k monitor arrives I have two it's an LG monitor 27 inch I have two LG 27 inch monitors uh, so I'm going to put the 4k here and keep one of these two here so I have two 27 inch monitors but one will be 4k um, let's see, lobby, uh, welcome to wondrous tree. Uh, look, I have a billion dollars, and I'm like Donald Trump. Um, let's see. Okay, let's just do 25 spins and then, whoops, going to do 25 spins and this game's pretty much fun and you can win a lot. 
I don't know if, if there's maybe somebody out there, if this is not real money, understand, and you can't win any real money. You know, I probably shouldn't be doing this. This is probably, uh, the music will probably come back as being owned by somebody. Yeah, I think I'm going to stop. Probably too late already. There are... Uh, scanners that go through and look for, I mean, it's kind of a racket. Okay. Uh, oh, let's see. CNN. I guess uh, it was just Vice President Pence was coming to Dallas to the NRA, National Rifle Association, and speaking. And I think Donald Trump was going to speak uh, remotely, but apparently now uh, he is coming. And I'm not sure if it's, I think Pence might be coming. The, the NRA convention is in Dallas. It's a three-day convention. And... Uh, In all my years of shortwave, starting in 1955, of listening to radio, all kinds of communications, uh, Earth satellites, uh, international shortwave broadcast stations, police calls, all types of stuff. There was even a radio station for a while, Cuba, uh, broadcast, and I think it was, let's see, was it 7.30 on the AM radio dial, or was it 8.30? Because it was right above one of the... Anyway, it was... Um, oh, now I can't remember the... Anyway, it was aimed at uh, blacks in the southern states, and it was, you know, telling them, hey, you know, white men are raping your women... A rise up or whatever and uh, what was it called I, I sent him a reception report and they answered back I believe with a letter but I was in Kansas City Missouri so it was well it wasn't that difficult of a DX uh, picking up a distant station but I was able to pick it up and uh, the United States, I guess, let it be known at the time, okay, um, you know, you're on a little island down there. If you want to play that game, uh, we'll crank up enough radio power here that uh, none of your Cuban radio stations, the people won't even, you know, won't even be able to hear. <laughs> you know, they'll be listening to radio, the Voice of America and stuff like that. So Cuba went and shut it down. What was it called? Oh, Radio Free Dixie. That was it. But, uh, oh, in all those years of everything that I did, I've never actually tuned in uh, to the aeronautic. I've tuned in aeronautical frequencies, but I never tuned in and ever uh, picked up uh, Air Force One or Air Force Two. It's not difficult. You know, they, uh, it will, for your, if you're outside the United States, uh, when the president is aboard an aircraft, uh, then it's uh, Air Force One, and uh, the Vice President is Air Force Two, and so forth and so on. And so I've never, but uh, whatever time, and in fact, I imagine probably that Vice, that I imagine they're probably coming at separate times. Um, probably the, about three miles from here is what was Carswell Air Force Base back in the uh, Cold War days. It's now a, uh, it's a reserve base now. It was a very important strategic air SAC command base. I used to listen to those uh, 
frequencies and you'd hear, you know, uh, that type of communication. And I lived in Missouri also on a scanner. I could pick up the missile bases that were out in the country around Missouri, you know. So I've, but I've never picked up Air Force One, and I'm, I don't. I think I'll probably bother to do it whenever. And it, when I was in Miami during the election, well, any place when you're during the election, you know, they're moving around. So you have a lot of opportunities. Like when I was in my in Florida, that was the election for uh, Bush, and uh, now I was there for. Uh, yeah, I was there for that election, and I was there for Obama's election. Yeah, because Obama came to uh, for a big event before he was elected, and uh, that wasn't his second term. No, that was before he was elected, and. I was there with my son, and there's a, what's it called, right there at the ocean, a mall, I forget, Bayfront or something, rather, there, and I said, you know, well, I, the event's going to be at that over that direction, I think. Let's get over there early, you know, and then my son decided uh, that we went through the mall, and he decided he had to have a glass of water or something, so we were delayed a, a few minutes. Well, when we got over to where I thought the event was going to be, the event was actually the other way. But there, over when I got over to where I thought we were, there was a uh, van, and it was uh, Obama's van. And there was almost nobody there. There was like five or six people and a couple of police officers and uh, whatever. And uh, somebody said, oh, you just missed uh, Obama. He just went inside and he shook, shook hands with, you know, I think the guy said he just shook hands with me. And he, he's inside there. But we went ahead then and headed to, we couldn't get, when we went the, to where the event was, where his van was going to take him in a minute or whatever. We got over there. We couldn't even get up where we could see him over the PA systems. We could hear him, but we could. It was just a, it was just a mass, a ton of a ton of people. So. Let's see. What else did I want to? The video from yesterday that I made. Came out really well, and you can see, I'm kind of sticking with the. The. Uh, then we gave it a little game test here, and I need to find out um, I changed cameras. Let's see, go with the There we are. I just had a ham sandwich. Uh, it is. <clears throat> almost to midnight here. So, um, Missouri lawmakers uh, set to call special session on impeaching uh, the governor, who's a Republican. Uh, Chinese lasers are injuring U.S. military pirate uh, but pirates, <laughs> pilots, I'm sorry. That's in Africa someplace, where is that? Uh, China has a base there. And uh, the United States has a base there, and they've been using industrial or military strength uh, lasers and pointing them at aircraft or whatever. Why can't we all just get along together? This there's an eighth amendment right against the exception. 
This the the I think he was like it was eighteen or nineteen years old, the Parkland shooter that went into the school, and uh, shot the school up. He has a younger brother, I think like seventeen or eighteen. And right after the shooting, uh, his brother was his brother did not go to that high school. And his brother went up to the high, you know, and the two, they, of course, increased security at the school and made all the kids wear backpacks that are clear so you can see. And they just did all, everybody has to wear a name tag, students and everybody. And uh, this kid's, the shooter's brother shows up and the school resource officer told him, you know, don't come on the property. You don't have any business here. Uh, Teachers and other people, he would come back. Teachers and other people would say, don't come back. I think the school resource officer, again, had contact and said, you know, do not come back here or you're going to be arrested for trespassing. And, you know, he came back and was arrested for trespassing and was, he gave, he got a six-month jail sentence, but he got probation, he didn't serve it, you know, he got probation. And it was, he had, but he did have to wear a tracking thing on him. And he was told, you know, you stay a mile away from the school or something like that. And he was back up there the other day. He was, he doesn't have a driver's license. And he was driving a car. And I think the car that he probably didn't have permission to be in, I don't know. But he, he was a car and he was 100 feet from the school property or whatever. So he was arrested for violation of his and uh, now I guess uh, he's saying that uh, they violated his eighth amendment rights and tortured him during a recent stay in jail Uh, I'm sorry you're not supposed to judge people by see if we can get him back there you know there he is he's just uh, he looks arrogant. But you, you got to remember, I had to deal with, like for 30 years, I dealt with people like that. Uh, you get people that will, you know, you'll give them a, a warning, you know, a trespass warning or whatever, and they come back. And you tell them again, hey, don't come back, you know, you'll be arrested, you know, and they come back, and then you, you know, maybe, and then you, then you arrest him. I had one guy that came to the hospital, a, a black man dressed uh, in clerical, you know, had a Roman collar on and whatever. I gave him seven. He wasn't a, he had no parish. I mean, he had no church. He didn't, he was just, that was his thing. Uh, and I, I just, I had to deal with that every day. Today I was watching a bunch of car chases again on YouTube. And, oh, I did mention, and I'm not sure you heard it over the uh, noise or whatever. Let's see, I guess I could find out. Let's see. Go to, is it Netflix? Let's bring that over here. Okay, I'm going to come over here like this. Okay, I'm looking over at the other screen to see how it... Uh, Netflix. Uh, see if it shows up. Uh, anyway, there's a... You make this full screen be easier for me to find. Uh, Parks and Recreation, you know, it's it's got really, I'm up to season one, episode five. I never, um, uh, 
I never watched it in the past, but I've started watching a little bit of it. It's 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 pretty good. I started to watch this uh, series. I watched Into the Badlands, and uh, it does not look good. I watched part of season one, episode one, Lost in Space. I'm up to season one, episode eight. I just I I was a fan of the old Lost in Space, but uh, um, I don't know. I wanted to like it. I just, I'm trying to watch it, but the new Legends of Monkey, I tried to watch that. I bent it halfway through. Um, the West Wing, I have watched so many times. I just can't. It's just great. Oh, this is really good. The the crowd, the crowd, the the crown. I'm up to episode seven. I don't know why I find it so difficult to watch. It's good, but it's kind of. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Something with me. You know, feeling sorry for the queen's husband, or feeling sorry for knowing that sort of. The stuff that they're showing it actually happened, and people were kind of going through this. And uh, poor Princess Margaret, and uh, I remember from you know back when it was actually happening that type of stuff, and we didn't know as much detail. But but I love this uh, uh, series of unfortunate events, and I think I've watched seasons one and two, so now I'm waiting for season three to appear, I believe. Um, oh, Moonrise Kingdom. You have got to watch that. There again on Netflix. I love that. That is just absolutely perfect for some reason. But you got to keep in mind that uh, these things down here, you see, none of these do I watch, these horror movies or slasher movies. Um, I think my ex-wife uses my account, and she would deny it, but I think these are her things. Uh, I do not watch anything like that at all. I like sound of music and happy things, nothing with stress, nothing with us, uh, but uh, Moonrise Kingdom, you've got to watch that. I watch a lot of the dark charisma, all the things on Adolf Hitler, I've seen them all. I'm, I guess I'm probably an expert on Hitler. Call My Agent is French, I believe. I'm up to season four, and it's pretty good. A lot of the movies uh, and stuff from France I really like. Um, oh, and this thing, The World's Most Extraordinary Buildings or whatever. I'm up to season one, episode three. I just have a trouble, a problem with the <clears throat> UK couple. The guy is an architect, and the lady, I believe, is a stage performer or something like that. And it's just uh, the dialogue between them and the whole thing. But I do like looking at things, like shows like that, where they show, you know people buying property close to the ocean or strange house, sm world's smallest houses and all that type of stuff. Um, Crotacomb, a uh, one hour and 45 minute movie. I've watched part of it. So far, uh, of course, The Lost Boys I watched a long time ago. Okay, that's, let's see. I watch a lot of these one-hour special comedy things. I just watched uh, this one here, Ricky Gervonis, is that it? I watch a lot of those. <clears throat> I can usually tell pretty quick, you know, whether I'm going to like it or not. Um, oh, like I said, the West Wing I love. Um, 
series of unfortunate events, fantastic. Of course, it shows, you know, the UK, the IT crowd, naturally. I think we would all love it. I mean, I watched it. I've watched it several times, the entire thing through. I wish there was more of it. I wish there was. They looked into making, I think, a U U.S. version or whatever. It was just really good. Moonrise, there again, Kingdom. I just love it. Perfect. Uh, Cheers, of course, I watched, all, you know, Star Trek and watched all the episodes of uh, Cheers. Oh, my God. Here, Tag. It's a Japanese movie. Oh. Blood. Uh, uh, I don't know. I mean, not my type of movie, but I did watch a little bit of it. Uh, school Japanese schoolgirls in short skirts, all of them. That's all there is, is Japanese schoolgirls in short skirts and a mysterious wind that blows up their skirts so you can see their panties. But it's uh, blood and gore, and apparently it's that way through the entire thing, and you don't understand it unless you uh, think that it has something to do with lesbianism and uh, menstruation or something. I don't know. But anyway, I don't recommend it. I will not be watching it. Cheers, of course, I watched all the episodes, you know, in the past. Uh, Hot Fuzz, but really good, you know. Uh, the Hateful Eight, I watched it. I can't remember now. Fraser, of course, is very, very good. Anyway, that's, I guess, about all I have to say. Thank you very much for watching. I should do movie reviews, but I wouldn't be good at it. But I like movies so much and TV shows so much. That's why I said I should do movie reviews or TV reviews or something, because I like the shows, but I, I wouldn't be good at it. Thank you very much for watching.